This is the best lemon bar recipe. These bars have a silky filling that is not only sweet and tangy, but sits perfectly on top of a crunchy shortbread crust. Hi, I'm Joni from OneDishKitchen.com, your number one source for single serving recipes. I've added the full recipe in the description below, as well as a link to the recipe page where you can even find a printable recipe. So let's get started. To make the crust, first we have to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Butter a five inch baking dish. In a mixing bowl, add two and a half tablespoons of softened butter and two tablespoons of sugar and mix until well blended. Now you will add a quarter of a cup of all purpose flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and mix until combined. Next, we are going to press the dough firmly into the prepared baking dish using either the back of a spoon or your fingertips. Bake 18 to 20 minutes until your dough appears to be lightly golden. While the crust is baking, you can prepare the lemon filling. In a small bowl, add one large egg, a half of a cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and also add one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice is always the best. Now whisk the ingredients together. Remove the baking pan from the oven. Your dough should look a little more like a crust now and will need to cool off just a bit on the side. After the filling has been mixed, pour the filling over the crust. Now we are going to bake the bars for 15 to 17 minutes. It has been about 15 minutes and the lemon bars should be ready. You can tell they are ready when the edges of the filling are lightly browned. Allow the bars to cool completely before slicing them into squares. It will take at least 30 minutes to completely cool in the pan. Carefully cut the lemon bars and take them out of the baking pan. Here are a few expert tips. If you don't have any lemons, you can use bottled lemon juice. The size of your dish matters greatly when making these bars. Use a five inch baking dish to get the best results. You can also use a six inch by four inch baking dish. Both of these have a base of approximately 24 to 25 square inches. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and ring the bell. Also, check out the rest of our videos on our channel. You can find hundreds of single serving recipes just like this one by visiting OneDishKitchen.com. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.